Hey guys, I'm giving away a Fennec once I reach 2,000 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is subscribe, like this video, comment your PSM below, and make sure to use my supporter creator code in the item shop. Good luck. What's going on guys, Exoistic here, and I'm finally back with another video. I recently got back into trading, and it's been a lot of fun, so I made this little video to show you guys how to get a Dissolver in one day, so let's get into it. Starting off with the first trade, pretty simple, just paying 50 credits for a Parallax, and I'm hoping to sell it for 100. The Parallax was taking a little too long to sell for 100, so I just took this guy's offer for 80, and I asked him if he can add, and he added a NCR. Right here, I'm buying a Hellfire for 100 credits under the minimum price, and I'm hoping to sell it for 200 credits. Right here, I'm buying this Shattered for 100 credits, and I plan on selling it for 200. Right here, I'm selling that Hellfire that I just bought for 100, and I'm making 100 credits profit on this trade. I know it says I have two Shattered's in my inventory, but one of them was already mine. I'm only going to be selling one, but right now I'm buying a Chameleon for 100 credits, which is 150 credits under the minimum price, and hopefully we could sell it for 250 or 200 credits at least. I just got a rare drop, so let's open it up and hopefully we get something good. Come on, let me get a Titanium White Octane. Yo, what the f***? Right here, I was trying to buy this Stormwatch and this Chameleon for 200 credits, but he said he wanted extra for the Stormwatch because it was certified. I told him no because, bro, who the f*** pays extra for Juggler, bro? Like, that shit is buns. <laughs> I ended up only getting the Chameleon for 100 credits. Right here, I'm just picking up this black halo for 100 credits under the minimum price. Alright, so in this trade... Alright, so in this trade right here, we're finally selling that shatter that we bought a while ago. I'm not gonna lie, I had this shattered for like a fucking hour, bro, but we finally sold it for 200 credits, so we got 100 credits profit. Alright, so right here, I'm getting rid of the black halo. Um, I wanted to get 450 for it, which is mid-price, but I just felt like it was gonna be kind of hard to sell, so... I didn't want to waste that much time. I just took this guy's offer for 380, but I told him he had to add because I felt like 380 was a little too low. So he added a non-crate import and we got the trade done. All right, so right here, the first Hellfire that I had sold pretty fast. So I decided to get another one. Um, My post says like 100 credits and like firm prices. So I don't know why the hell this kid is asking me for 150 in chat. Like kid must be brain dead, but he was dragging it. So I just gave him 110 credits so he could shut the hell up and give me that Hellfire. Right here, I'm buying another Hellfire. This time, I didn't have to pay 110, so I'm gonna make a little bit more profit on this one. All right, guys, so this is going to be the final trade of the video. I ended up doing this item overpay for a Dissolver. I paid 100 credits for each of these black market decals, so I was fine with doing this item overpay. I basically got Dissolver here for 400 credits, which I could still make profit if I decide to sell it, but I hope you learned something from this video. Trading is still pretty easy in Rocket League. It just takes longer than it used to, but the concept will always say the same. You buy something for cheap and then you sell it for more. That's going to be it for the end of the video. If you made it to the end, let me know down below in the comments. I really appreciate every single one of you that watches my videos. Also, let me know down there as well if you guys want to see me start doing trading live streams again. And I'll set that up. And yeah, that's it. Stay safe. Love you guys. Peace out.